Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your sixth AngularJS tutorial and in this video we're going to be talking about expressions. <laughs> Alright then guys, so this is where we left off in the last tutorial. Um, we attached this model, fave me to this input so that when we wrote something in here, it bound that data to this model then we output that data here using an expression. So that's what expressions are all about, outputting data to the browser. And expressions are pretty much like little snippets of JavaScript code, normally placed within curly braces like this here. So a lot of the simple things we can do in regular JavaScript, we can also do in expressions. For example, I could do something like this. Let's delete all this. And then within, uh, within curly braces, I'm gonna say five times five. And if I save that, what Angular will do is evaluate this expression, much like in JavaScript, and output the result right there, okay? Likewise, I could do something like this, um, foo plus bar. And if I had access to these variables right here, Angular would go ahead and concatenate the two together and output the result there, okay? So if we had more complex data, then we could output that data. For example, if we had a user model with a name property, we could output that data using an expression by just saying user.name. So it's really simple, really cool, okay? Now right now, we've just got some pretty simple data right here, just a simple string attached to this input field. So what I wanna do is use some more complex data so we can play around with it using expressions. So what I'll do is come up to the body tag and I'm gonna use another directive called ng init. And the ng init directive is gonna allow us to initialize some data when our application loads. Now to do this, we'd normally use a controller. So don't get in the habit of loading some data using ng init. I'm only gonna be doing this for this tutorial um, just for uh, simplicity's sake and so it's quicker, okay? So let's initialize some data in here. And what I wanna do is create an array. And this array is going to hold some numbers. So we'll call this array numbers and we'll set it equal to an array holding one, two, three, four. Okay. Now what we can do is output some of this data right here in the paragraph tag using expressions. So let's open our curly braces and say we want the numbers uh, variable and then using array notation, we can output the first number in that array, which is one, right? So let's save that and see what comes up over here. Yep, yeah, one. Now, if we want to add that to another position in the array, we could do. We could just say numbers zero plus numbers three, and then save that and see what comes out here. This time we get five because this is zero and this is three, so it's one plus four, right? So pretty cool. Now let's make a different kind of array. We'll, uh, we'll call this one meets, and we'll set this equal to some strings. So I'm gonna use single quotations right here because I've already used double quotations to open up this attribute. So if I do double quotations again, it's gonna kind of escape this one over here and it's gonna mess things up. So I'm gonna use the opposite, which is just single quotations. So the first one is gonna be pork and the second one is gonna be ham. Then we'll say something like beef, okay? So now we can do something like meats, one or two, and uh, we'll say outside of the expression, you like, and then save. This time it's gonna say you like ham. All right, and then we can come out of the expression, we can put a comma and say, and you also like, and we'll do another expression and say meets two. Save that, and then it comes out with, and you also like beef. So this is really cool. We can just easily grab the data that's accessible to us and output it to the browser using these expressions. Really cool, right? But we don't have to just output expressions here to the browser. We can also add them in attributes. And I'm gonna show you a quick example right now. Right, I'm gonna just set a simple uh, color variable right here to be equal to, I'll say, to do in a string orange, okay? Now what I wanna do is just type something like hello dudes or whatever there, and then I'm gonna give this a class, and I'm gonna set that equal to, then I'll use my curly braces, and I'll say color, all right? So now we're gonna get a class of whatever this string is. So the class is gonna be orange. So I'm gonna save that. It's not gonna do much there at the minute, but if I then come into my styles.css, 
and right at the top, I'm just going to make a class called orange. I'm going to set the color of this to be orange. All right. I'm going to save it. And then right now you can see that's updated because we've got the class of orange um, added to this p tag. And that class has come from this expression, which is loading in this data right here. So if we change this to red, then obviously we've not got a class called red, but we'd need one in here. And I could say red, and I'll set that to be a color of red like that, and save it. And this time it outputs as red. So these expressions are really cool, really simple to add some pretty cool functionality into our pages and just for outputting data. All right, so, so far we've just seen expressions displayed using these curly braces, but sometimes expressions can be written without them in conjunction with Angular's attribute directives. But what we're gonna do is visit those later down the line. So for now, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to drop a comment down below. Otherwise guys, don't forget to subscribe and all that jazz, and I'll see you in the very next tutorial.